Hello, this is a Honda Beat. Dinky, isn't it? It's a Japanese K car from the early 90s. Uh, a two-door, mid-engined, two-seater, little sports car, dinky thing. Uh, if you want an explanation as to what a K car is, I'm afraid I can't help you because I, I don't know. I think it's something to do with the size, looking at it, because it's uh, it doesn't have a lot of that. Size does not matter. Well, size does matter. If it's too big, it can't be a K car. Now, I know nothing about this car. That's kind of the point of these videos. I know a little bit, admittedly, because I've done some work on it. I've had the car in, I've changed the brake pads, I've rebuilt one of the calipers, and I've changed discs as well. Uh, so I've been working on it, but I haven't really, well, I haven't seen the engine, because you can't. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's something, it's quite an interesting little car, and I thought, I need to get this out, I need to drive this. So I've asked the owner, and he's let me bring it out. So as you can see, it's a dinky, dinky little car. I mean, I don't have long legs, but if I do Ministry of Silly Walks, I can do it in two paces, and I could probably do it widthways in one. This is the sort of insightful content you've come for, isn't it? Now, I believe K car means that it's a Japanese city car, like a town car. It means that it has, I think it has a maximum width, potentially a maximum length, and there's a maximum CC on the engine. I think it's around 660. This engine is a 660 CC-ish with change three cylinder um, naturally aspirated there's no rules or stipulations as to whether it can be turbocharged or naturally aspirated it can be either likewise it can be front engined rear engine mid engine four wheel drive front wheel drive rear wheel drive it can be anything it's just i think it's just the footprint i think cars like k cars got smaller uh, or lower tax um, allowances and things like that like it was cheaper to run them in, J in japan uh, due to the fact they take up less size but i really don't know uh, which is, as I say, kind of the deal. Um, now, this is quite a rare car. There's only, the owner seems to think, I haven't looked, uh, the owner seems to think there's around about 60 to 70 of these in the UK. This one was probably here since the beginning. It's on a J-Reg, 1991, say early 90s, um, but believes this car was imported new. So they were never officially sold in the UK. They are all JDM. But yeah, he thinks this car may have come in, uh, you know, at the time. Um, and been registered straight away as a brand new car. Uh, I went online quickly to see how much these were. Well, you'll see why I went online to see how much these were. I went to see if there were any for sale and how much they cost. There was another one on there, uh, exactly the same thing. Brand new car in the UK. So it was imported as a brand new car. It wasn't even registered in Japan, but most of them are Japanese domestic imports. Uh, yeah, you won't, you won't find a UK spec car. Um, it's not really the sort of car that sells in the UK, which is stupid because it's perfect for the UK. It's just amazing. <laughs> I can't, I, I've been trying to like stay nonplussed all the way through this, <laughs> but I'm beaming. I'm beaming because when I say it's gigantic fun, I think I'm underselling it a little bit. It is enormous fun. It is, insane how much fun this car is but before i take it out let's have a little quick look around um i'll show you some little quirks and features um of which there are many they're all tiny so we'll start here because this is to me this is one of the most n noticeable things the light is part of the wheel arch and if we pop open this front end in order to do this, we have to... Oh, my alarm's going off. Okay, it's not actually my alarm. That is this stupid key thing. I know the key's in it. Um, so if we pop this little debris here, and then lift this little... Here, here, this little... What's it? Technical term. The car is so small, that the top of the wheel arch is missing, because it is part of the bonnet that's how small this car is that's how tightly it's packaged it is it's a masterclass actually in packaging it really is i mean look the indicator touches the wheel arch i mean <laughs> how many other cars do you know that do that i genuinely can't think of any if you can stick them in the comments i can't think of any but it's basic stuff i mean there's no there's no double wishbones or anything like that it's very basic 
very lightweight. I don't know what this is. I'm going to assume it weighs around 600 and something kilos by the feel of it, maybe 650. Uh, I can't imagine it's much more than that. Uh, it feels so, so light. Look, there's even a spare wheel. So there's a, there's a guy there, right? Right, people buy cars like that for fun. A big engine car, big V8, Brrr, grumbly. That's what you want. It's not how much power you have, it's what you do with it. It's the package, it's like the gear ratios and the character of the engine, you know, like the power band, the torque curve, the noise, the feel. It's not about power. And we don't need to have these stupidly fast, powerful cars that we have now, because that has, I think, I will check, 63 horsepower. Which I think is the top, um, the top of the tree in terms of uh, power on one of these. I don't think K cars are allowed any more than that. But yeah, you've got under the front here, you've got your jack, you've got your washer fluid, you've got your brake fluid, your clutch fluid, uh, radiator top up. It's just, everything's here. You've got a spare wheel for Christ's sake. The door handle. Now I have small hands, right? They're not big. It is a two finger, right, steady, arrangement. Look at that. You could, I couldn't get, I mean, I can just about, just about get three in there. That's cool. And then you have, you'll have to excuse my tat. Uh, that's all in there for reasons you will see. I mean, zebras, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, and there too. It's funny, isn't it? Japan makes some of the most boring cars ever made, but also some of the most fun cars ever made. There were some some of these I've seen where there's like an extra speaker pack you can get, and there's like a speaker that sits there and there in the little void thing. But uh, what's that? Oh man! It doesn't have VTEC. It has MTREK. You'll notice the red line there begins at eight and a half thousand. It does rev that high, it's a proper Honda. The engine in this is the same as what was used, I think, in a Honda City. I can't remember, but the engine itself is a basic three cylinder engine that's used in a lot of K cars uh, that Honda made. But this version, the, the beat only, has this M Trek thing. I think it was the beat only because I have done a tiny bit of research, I do confess, I've done a tiny bit. Um, it has individual throttle bodies, three individual throttle bodies and revs to, well, apparently 9,000 RPM, but peak power is produced at 8,100. And it is as bonkers as you would think. I love the fact it's got steel wheels. They're quite good looking steel wheels, although the alloys are quite even better. They're kind of like pepper pot alloys that some of the other cars had as an option. I actually prefer these in yellow. Apparently red is the more common color. I didn't realize that. It even has two reverse lights, although I'm assuming that one is probably a fog light now. Um, if I have a look in the back, you'll see why all my crap is in the passenger seat. Um, there's no remote release to get in. It's this, this, and then this. And yeah. So just for scale, just put the little stay in. So for scale. Uh, that's my hand doing the width of the boot. That is the boot. Some brake fluid left. He bought a lot of brake fluid, which considering this car is so tiny, seems uh, over the top. There's all his paperwork and stuff. Uh, you can just about see some of the engine in there. Uh, I'm guessing the little three individual throttle bodies are possibly behind that. You want to fill up the oil, you do it there. It is wicked sweet horse. No, that's taken. Uh, I have spent long enough pretending to know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't because I've not researched anything on purpose. I don't care, I'm gonna drive it. That's what you wanna do. You wanna go for a drive, trust me, you wanna go for a drive. Gracefully into the cabin. Do you know, it's less claustrophobic in here than um, a TVR wedge, a TVR Tasman. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I'm up against the centre console a little bit, but there is a footrest down there. There's <laughs> actually a footrest. Um, to the centre console, 
there is no space wasted. The vents pretty much go the whole width of the centre console. The radio goes the whole width of the centre console, which means I can pretty much span the centre console with my hand. That's how small it is in here. I can touch the other side. I can touch the... There's not a part of... The, oh no, I can't touch that bit of the windscreen, but... Oh, it's a glove box. Oh! It's just amazing. It has electric windows, which you have to uh, do with the ignition, I think. Yes. It has. There's a snickety-ass little five-speed gearbox. It's just the best. I mean, Honda really know how to do gearboxes. Doesn't have central locking or anything like that. Doesn't have power steering, quite obviously, because it doesn't need it. Um, but it does have aircon, which, of course, does not work. Oh, that's a separate fan. Oh, that's the. Pu oh, so you can hear the pusher fan come on. You probably can't, but. It is. Excellent. Right, I'm going to get strapped up. And yeah, we take this for a drive. It's amazing. Flat out, eight and a half thousand revs. And I've just cracked 40 miles an hour. This is surely what fun is about. It's the most involved kind of driving. Like, it has no torque. No torque at all. So you have to stir the gearbox, which is surely what you want to do. speed limit if I was in a fast car I would have just I'd have hit it so so quickly I'd have just gone bang 60 and then that's it all the fun's over but in this it's not the gearbox is just it's the, the light it really is steering's steering's nice um, it's the tracking's slightly out I think gearbox I mean you can hear the gearbox or the diff at least flat out Honestly, this is one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. And you know, you know how hard it is for me to be positive. Oh, check engine lights just come on. That's um, mildly concerning. It really is one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. It's up there with Hilda. That's how good this is. That's how much fun this is. And I can give it welly, and there's a Hyundai in front, and I still haven't caught it. It's, it's just... No, but seriously. You don't need more than this. This is Yeah. Sorry, I'm not I'm not conveying this very well. I mean, you know the car in front is going slowly if they're holding you up in this. The ride is actually quite good. It's uh it, it rounds off the bumps nicely. It's not it's got such skinny little wheels, they're staggered. It's got 13 inch on the front, 14 on the back. I think it's 155 section on the front and 165 on the rear. It really doesn't like, it doesn't, I haven't taken it on a motorway admittedly, but it doesn't pick up any of the lines in the road, the tram lines, anything like that. And it is a situation like the imp, where while you indicate, you're indicating right to go around a bend, okay. 
Hyundai i10 driver giving the stereotype a little uh, massage there well, that's third gear that's a bit no we're there we're there 4,000 5,000 6,000 7,000 <laughs> I'm doing 60 kilometers an hour at the moment. Indicators on the right, as it, to be fair, it makes more sense. Uh, as the you know, Japanese cars often were, uh, up until they got bullied into doing it the way that we do it, or the way that Europe does it. Um, yeah, I mean the controls are light, the clutch is light, the, gear, the gearbox is an absolute delight. You change gear more than you have to. This gearbox is counterproductive to clutch life because you use the gearbox more than you should because it's fun. So I could just leave it in like fifth and just tickle along, but I can't. I can't stop playing with it. It's like a kid who finds his... It's just... I'm absolutely enamored with it. This is more fun than the TVR. I promise you, it's more fun than the TVR. I mean, if you had a, a big, massive racetrack or something, and it's all relative, isn't it? Like, this has got the right amount of power and, and kind of revs and speed and everything like that for this kind of road. The public road where there's other people on it. So you're not going silly, silly speeds. You're having fun. I mean, you are catching people up who are dawdling. Admittedly, you're always going to get that in England. It's horrendous for it, but... It's like, if you wanted to have this amount of fun or this amount of involvement... Uh, yeah, granted, something like a TVR, I've got a Chimera. And something like that is fun because it's kind of like... It's fun to keep that under control, if that makes sense. Like, the, the enjoyment in that isn't thrashing the life out of it because it will just put you up a tree. The enjoyment in that is annoying it a little bit and just keeping it... Oh, you're going, you're turning off, okay. The power of telepathy. But this isn't about that, this is just... It makes the road feel bigger. Why do people buy SUVs? What is wrong with them? Oh, there's a 106, that's nice. I mean... The size, look at the state of this thing coming the other way, Range Rover, right? If he hit me, he would drive over me, I'd be so dead. One person on their own in that great big tank. The world, I mean, cars have gone backwards, haven't they? Oh, look at this Celica, can you see it? I don't know. Oh, that's beautiful. f Reg Celica. Another awful SUV, sorry, I'm... I'm really an SUV, I'm not even going to thank them because of what they're driving. I'm in SUV hatred mode. This is the opposite of that. One of the problems I've had with this car, one of the things I've noticed is people uh, giving me horrible looks as I drive past their house when there's some old boomer out in the garden doing his roses or whatever. And, uh, and I go past in this and you get evil looks off them because they think you're driving like a reprobate and I'm not. I'm not, I'm, that's, I'm just driving. So at the moment we're doing, let's get to 60 kilometers an hour, which I think that's 40 miles an hour, this is a 40 limit. I'm in fifth gear, I'm doing 60 kilometers an hour, and I'm turning 3,000 RPM. <laughs> I mean, this is shorter gear than the Imp. I thought that was short. The difference is the Imp's got twice as much power, so it really needs longer gears, but. this little pod at the front here, this looks like it's off a motorbike or something. The rev counter may well be. I have to be completely honest, if you are out there and you own a Honda Beat, I am jealous of you. Right, fourth, not enough. Third, not enough. Second, there we go. You can hear those throttle bodies at the back. Individual trumpets. Behind you, right behind your ear. Oh. <laughs> I'm still not speeding. I'm 
miles off the speed limit. Oh, I got a bit of wind noise. I'm still not, I'm still not speeding. Oh, there you go, there's the limit. I hope my microphone is not, like, you know, completely given up with this, because it is absolutely fantastic. And if you get a chance to drive one of these, and this is a bog standard car, it's not tuned, it's not got jonned up bits on it. And they respond, I mean, cars, little Hondas and things, I know for a fact Mazda MX-5s, they really respond to some of the little mods you can do to them. I mean, God knows what you could do to this. You don't want more power. You just want more noise and more feel. I mean, you've really got enough, but... Oh, there you go, I've hit the limit. You've got little dinky wipers. Look at them. No, whatever he calls it. Or is there? I don't know. No, there's not. I mean, if I hit something, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Well, I, I would go with a smile on my face. It's just the most fantastic, joyous little car. It really is. I can't think of... I can't think... I mean, I'm bedding the brakes in. That's why I'm driving... I'm bedding the brakes in. This is a, a sensible... Yeah. 5,000 RPM. <laughs> Baby. There you go. Oh, V tech. No, hang on. What was it? Moon mm, Trek kicked in, yo. Oh. See, people would hear me and they'd think, oh, he's driving like an absolute plum. I'm not. that you can hit 9,000 RPM in and not be breaking the speed limit. And I bet I'm doing like 40 to the gallon at the moment, maybe more, maybe 45, 50, if I'm not touching the throttle. So at the moment I'm doing like infinite miles to the gallon, but. You don't need any more than this. You know, I mean, it's noisy, don't get me wrong. We're doing 60 miles an hour at the moment. At five and a half thousand RPM. But you, it's, you forgive it. The seat is comfortable. It's quite soft. It's really well sculpted for me. The only thing, I mean, I can feel my knee digging into the console there, but it's not painful. It's not intrusive. It's just because there's nowhere else to put it. A scooter going the other way, it does kind of feel like a scooter with four wheels. Whee. Well, yeah, I mean, I've I've got to give it back, I've got to go back. I've, I should have gone back like half an hour ago. I'm supposed to be working. Uh, I just felt like I had this opportunity to come out in this car after I'd done some work on it, bed the brakes in, which genuinely I have, they're feeling a lot better now. Um, yeah, and just, I mean, I'm sorry, if you dick around on YouTube and someone brings you a Honda Beat, you drive it. But thank you very much to, uh, you know, I don't even know his bloody name, how bad's that? Man who owns this. Uh, thank you very much. If anyone else has a Honda Beat, I'm happy to work on it, as long as you let me drive it. Um, for Christmas this year, I'd quite like a Honda Beat. 
uh, it made me very happy. Thank you, please, Santa. And yeah, um, I'll see you all next time because I'm just going to take this in now on my own. I'm completely in love with this car. This, this is, yeah, this is motoring.